I have really missed sitting in front of a camera. Hey guys, it's Riley and welcome to my channel on this lovely Tuesday. Today is trans education. I kind of wanted to talk about a more personal thing. I wanted to talk more about my identity, my personal identity, and how it correlates in my life and things like that. That's why I titled it Through the Looking Glass because it's kind of like an insight for you guys to see how I identify and how I like choose to label myself. So without further ado, here we go. First is my sexuality. Off the bat, if someone asks me, I just say I'm gay, which is like half true. Because sexuality as a whole encompasses both sexual attraction and romantic attraction. Romantically, I'm interested in men and masculine identifying individuals. I'm open to dating someone who is non-binary but on the masculine side, but overall it's men that I'm attracted to. Sexually, however, and when it comes to sexual attraction, I identify as pansexual. I don't have a preference when it comes to sexual attraction. I can feel sexual attraction to anyone, but romantic attraction is usually only men. So the more in-depth, complicated version of what I call my sexuality is homoromantic pansexual. But it's a lot easier to just say I'm gay because explaining that romantic attraction and sexual attraction are different to someone who is cisgender, heterosexual, heteroromantic is really difficult because they can't quite grasp the concept. And now on to gender. Oh boy. Right off the bat, I identify as a non-binary trans man. I also really like the term trans masculine because it's not like man, manly man. It's just masculine. Now granted my personality traits are quite feminine. I do identify as a guy. I use he him pronouns. But I also identify as non-binary and the reason I identify as non-binary is because I feel more comfortable not having to force myself into a mold of masculinity and to me identifying as a man in total like kind of forces myself to fit that idea of masculinity and I personally don't like that. So adding non-binary in front of trans guy for me makes it seem like I can present the way I want it makes me feel like I can live my life the way I want well I still use binary pronouns I really feel non-binary as a whole but I'm still a guy I'm still a guy I'm a non-binary trans guy but I'm still a guy still he him his all of that good stuff and all of this all of it is subject to change. This is just the way I feel right now in the moment and it's been pretty consistent over the last couple of years but I don't doubt the fact that it could alter in the future. What matters and what's important is that this is what's true to me and my identity right now. Fluctuating how you identify or the labels you choose to identify with does not make you any less valid and that's something that I have to like constantly remind myself. That this is good, this is real, this is me right now. I am not lying about my identity if along the road I decide to identify as something else. I'm just like, this is real, this is me. So that's kind of where I sit with my identity right now and my sexuality and my gender and the things like that. I just kind of wanted to talk about it for those of you that were curious. Granted, it is technically none of your business, but I feel comfortable enough sharing it with you guys because you guys are like my family. And that's pretty much all I wanted to talk about on the gender and sexuality spectrum of myself for today. I also want wanted to mention that we are literally so close to 900 subscribers, which is super fun and super exciting, and I think we should totally get there very soon, so you should share this video with someone who would appreciate it, or my channel, or whatever you are feeling in the moment. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a, a big thumbs up and leave a comment down below. What is your current identity? What do you currently identify with? If you're comfortable sharing, you totally don't have to, but if you would like, you can subscribe because I post new videos on twice a week, one on Tuesday, one on Thursday, and that's two videos a week coming your way. If you want, you can follow me on all of my social media, which is linked below at the Riley Kyle on all platforms. I am there constantly, literally all the time. I also wanted to sneak in here and mention for those of you that are still watching, first of all, thank you. Second of all, I'm probably be going to be posting more ABDL, CGL, little themed videos on my main channel just because I'm starting to feel more comfortable with it. Am I very nervous to do this? Yes, but you know what? It is something that I want to do. Yeah, okay, that's all I've got. I love you guys and I will see you guys on Thursday. Okay, bye.